<laughs> uh, that's one ingredient down. Still a long way to go, but at least we're on the right track. What? You planned this, didn't you? Planned what? Me bonding more with Shadow, making it so I would peek into the Shadow Realm and... Oh. <laughs> I see, you, you caught on to that, did you? Yeah. I kind of did. <laughs> Well, seems as though my lessons are starting to rub off some of my intelligence as well. <sighs> yes. If anything, I felt like this would be one of the easiest things to acquire. Though, yes, you haven't been to the Shadow Realm. Shadow, of course, he has. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Anywho, you should be uh, getting ready for school. Still, I feel like I could teach you so much more than that lowly high school, but it's okay. You still need to conform to the, the rules of your home. Right. Hmm. But, do me a favor. Don't act like I am a complete idiot. I may not be as smart as you, but I am not a complete dummy. Of course. My mistake. <laughs> In all seriousness, you are, uh, I can only say you're the most confident, one of my best students. But, really? Yes, of course! Well, uh, thank you. Uh, that's a uh, very nice. Well, then again, you are my only real student, so. The bar isn't very high, now is it? You could ju you just couldn't let me have that moment, could you? No. I'm sorry, but I can't have you becoming arrogant like some people. Right. Remember what I taught you? Arrogance can lead to your downfall, especially if you don't know your opponent. I know. Make sure to keep hmm, a backup plan for your backup plans. I know. And only use your true power, I know. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Shadow, I need. Yeah. I need to send a message. Shadow? Where is he? What? Uh, for some reason, Shadow isn't talking to me. He's not coming when I call him. Hmm. <coughs> no. <laughs> what? <clears throat> Nothing. Uh, won't you try seeing through his eyes? <laughs> uh, why you say it like that? What's going on? No nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Just go ahead, try it. I'm sure there'll be a logical explanation. Okay. As soon as Zuku does, he instantly regrets it because it turns out Shao was... Ugh. He was in the process of uh, consummating a marriage 
or union. Izuku, looking at Crowfather, is pissed. But also, I should have picked up on that considering your reaction. Oh, believe me. That look of utter horror in your face was more than enough for me. Believe me, I understand how you feel. What? Oh, wait, you saying, oh, yes. Though, yes, I had known as a crow father and whatnot, I did have to learn about certain things. <laughs> and one of the main things, uh, when your crow, or let's just be honest, the animal you choose to mainly summon isn't answering your calls. Give it its space. Okay. Yeah. So next time I try to, yeah, it's best just to wait. Uh, all right. First day UA, Izuku does know his Bakugo, but is also. Uh, okay, this is going to be an interesting. Hmm? Hmm. Something doesn't feel right. As he does look and see Aizawa, he's like, okay. Yeah, no wonder I felt like something was uh, got to happen. Of all people. Can't believe it. Wait, I know him. His... Oh, that's a racer head. <gasps> oh, it's a racer head. Because he realizes if Aizawa does have any suspicions or tries to erase his quirk. Izuku's gonna have to very much pretend like he's being weakened or his abilities are gone whenever as I was around and using his quirk. Otherwise, yeah, that's gonna throw up so many red flags. <sighs> Interesting. They have someone like that as a teacher? can't imagine how many people who he's probably uh, kicked out of class or expelled. As then he realizes, wait, hey, it's you! Uh, huh? You see him turning his head and oh, hey, it's you? You don't remember me? No, 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 of course I remember you. Um, okay, no, I don't. Uh, my name is Hagakure. Oh. Wait. You didn't really gave me your name, so you should, you should be looking so sad. Yeah, I know. Wait, so you just did that trying to get, uh, you know, a reaction out of you. Huh. Well, congratulations, it worked. But why? Uh, I just want to thank you for saving me. Oh, um, well, uh, you're, you're welcome. So, uh, anything else you wanna? Huh? Oh, wait, uh, I had something I, um, I can't find it. Uh, 
here. Uh, wait, are these cookies? Oh, right. Thanks. Uh, I didn't really have much to, to eat at breakfast today. So, yeah, these are definitely going to help. I hope you like them. Oh, uh, did you forget to brush your hair? What? Yeah, I'm just... You... My hair is messy. Um... Well, uh, yeah. You can see my hair? You can see my face? You can see my... You, you can see me? Well, yes. I got great blushing as... Yeah, she wasn't wearing anything for the whole entrance exam. She was fully immersed when it comes to using her quirk. So, yeah, she's pretty much running and screaming, and the girls are wondering, what did you do? Him being like, I did nothing wrong. He saw me. He sees me. He saw everything. What? Them eyeing Izuku like he has committed a great sin. Him wanting to know, wait, what did I do wrong? And then he... Wait, hold on, let me... Him fixing his eyes to be... Regular. Because one of the things that Crow Father taught Izuku is to see a lot more than usual. Meaning he can see in the dark, he can see ultraviolet light, he can see anything that it wouldn't normally be able to be captured by a regular human's eye. So, yes, though he saw Gakure. As she was, he's not that good, and all he saw was pretty much her outline. He can make out the features to an extent, just nothing that detailed. So as far as Yuku knew, she was wearing a skin suit. But upon switching his eyes back to regular view, he realizes... Oh my god, uh, she was completely naked. He looked at his hands that once he used to carry her. Oh, now I see what I did wrong. You confess? What? No, I mean, I, I, I didn't mean to see everything. Him just looking down, everyone notices it, but then he gets slapped by Froppy. So, I said sorry, I didn't mean for any of that to happen. Please forgive me. The guy Gray crying. Izuku, of course, still feels bad for what he's done. You know, he really didn't mean to do it. And this is when, luckily, someone does defend him, is which is is Mina. Okay, it was the spur of the moment thing. You didn't know she was completely naked, right? No, I swear I didn't know that. Mhm. Mm okay, so how can you see her? Is it your quirk? Y yes. Hmm. Prove it. Uh, uh, how you want me to prove it? Like Akure? Start to... Uh, what? No. No, 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 no. I am not. What? I'm going to say you start... 
uh, you know, fingers. Just, oh, if you can guess the right amount, that means not only guess who you see you, but, eh. oh, uh, okay. Is you who guesses each and every amount right of how many fingers she's holding up, which, yes, proves you can see her. But then Mina's like, okay, yeah, it is his quirk. What? And it seems like he can activate it whenever he wants. What makes you say, I can tell by your eyes. They're different. Uh, wait, you notice? Yeah. Huh. Well, you have... You are very perceptive. I know. Don't you have anything to say? Uh, oh, right. Um, thank you so much for... And I am so sorry I got ready for... It. Uh... You know. It, it's fine. I, I'm sorry for freaking out. Realizing it's just... The fact that you can see me. I'm not used to that. I mean... Not even my own parents can see me. So, um, uh, uh, I forgive you. Uh, thank you so much. Mina, you are the best. I know. <sighs> now, let's, uh, just, you know, just, uh, put all this behind us, and, uh, get one, get ready for class. Uh, uh, what the, oh, huh, everyone's sitting down, cool. Anyway, I'm gonna be your own teacher. Yada yada, quirk up hypnotist, blah blah blah. <sighs> Since you, born your years ago, scored the highest in the entrance exam, throw the ball first. Izuku realizing, he's like, okay, all eyes are on me, especially looking at Izawa, his eyes. Hmm. <sighs> I gotta keep an eye open for whatever he's gonna use that quirk of his. Is it a shadow just burst out? <laughs> he's even the shadow and just eyes, eyes out with the most intensity. What the hell is. Wait. Hey, it's your crow! It's a raven. There's a difference. Right. Sorry. Are you going to use uh, your raven during a test? Not unless I uh, need to. Hmm. Whatever. Carry on. Is you? He second place when it comes to the whole ball throw. Can't really be affinity, or you do is rematch it. Is it? And for everything else, he excels at. Though he does have to be very mindful of Aizawa watching him. Whatever Aizawa does, Shadow just disappears. So, <laughs> yeah. That instills that, yeah, Shadow's part of his quirk, but also he has an enhancement that increases his stats. Two quirks. And Izuku does somewhat falter every so often, even after Shadow leaves, which just instills the fact that, okay, so it's one complete quirk. It is particularly shady, so maybe it has something to do with Shadows or something? 
And as you can imagine, Togiyami is more than happy to talk with Izuku, especially when it comes to his quirk and shell itself. Izuku seeing that dark shadow does get stronger depending on how dark the area is, but also more, of course, dangerous, losing control and whatnot. He sees this as an opportunity to not tell anyone about a secret, but at least talk shop. At least talk quirks. Still a quirk nerd, he's observing everybody. Of course. Toyami being one of the first to really approach him, so why not? He tells him that, yeah, Toyami. His quirk is very powerful. His only thing is he needs to learn how to fully utilize it and maybe get closer to Dark Shadow like he is with Shadow. Yeah. Toyami wants to try it. And though Shadow and Dark Shadow somewhat communicate, it's not through complete and total words. And Tokiyami does seem somewhat more. Um, are you sure getting to know Dark Shadow would aid me? There's no doubt in my mind that this will really help you when it comes to controlling your quirk. I mean, it's sentient, just like Shadow is, so. If anything. You guys are going to be working together, you might as well get to know each other better, become more friendly, more buddy-buddy. What's the harm? <sighs> Don't forget, he gets stronger in darkness, complete darkness. The darker it is, the stronger he gets. Huh. Got any flashlights? At home or something? Well, yes. Well, just in case Dark Shadow does get out of control, against his will or otherwise, one thing you can definitely do is invest in some flashbangs. Wait, what? I mean, that's what they're good for. Hmm. Yeah, a blinding light. Though they don't last that long, they do fire off intense irradiance. So, think that'll help. Whenever you feel like Dark Shadow would be a bit problematic, yeah, yeah, I, I can see that really uh, helping you out. Oh. Thank you, Midoriya. Sure, uh, no problem. <sighs> now that's done. I guess it's training time. In which, yes, Izuku, through his training with our father, <sighs> well, let's see. So, you really gave me that nickname? Yes. Why? I work with crows, not owls. Oh, yes, I know. But it's just the fact that you're so wise and intelligent and flattering will get you nowhere. I am crow father, not owl. Father, there is a difference. <sighs> well, forgive me for trying to give you a cool nickname. All you did was change the type of bird in my name. That is not really creative. Yeah, whatever. Don't 
Whatever, me boy. You should be grateful, I'm still treating you. Now, thanks to me, you're, what, 50% of that all my man's power? Yeah. And seriously, ever since truly bought you a shadow, you've been able to reinforce your own body more than ever. You're at least, what, 75? Will you reinforce it? I know. And your smart ass comments, though can be comical, are not required. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Good. Now, if you don't mind, how are your after images coming up? He's going to make all five of them look like they're their own sentient being. Mixing in a uh, few shadows you know, to really sell it. Being able to actually overwhelm the automaton that the Crow Father is inhabiting. Much to the surprise, yet also amazement of Izuku's rapid growth. The way he thinks outside the box of how many ways he can really utilize these <laughs> absurd abilities. And now he has some more crows to really help train his uh, ravens. At first, he didn't really see the reasoning for it. Until Crowfather did tell him, though, yes, they are different. We, are, the way we have, uh, you know, acquired uh, abilities are obviously similar. Explain. They were like this. You use the same methods I did with all my crows to get Shadow. Yeah, and now that your uh, raven is starting to uh, procreate, this means that you have uh, some more ravens to acquire. Wait, so you're saying, yes, it would be very helpful if you actually you know, bonded with, you know, Shadow's mate. Oh, oh, yes. When you say bond, do you mean just do the same thing you did with Shadow? I mean, you're technically already bonded to the children through Shadow, so, if I think. Don't want the missus to be left out, now do we? Huh. So, the offspring are already bonded to me. It's just the mate they choose that isn't. Oh, yes, of course. And you don't have to worry about, you know, the whole... Uh, oh, wait, really? Yeah, believe me, that would be very strange if uh, brothers and sisters started to get too close. They would instinctively go for those who aren't part of the family. Believe me, I can't stress how important that is. Huh. And they just do this on their own? Well, yes. Though, yes, I have uh, quite a few crows under my command. They still, you know, have families. I just bond with the Macy chosen after the copulation process. 
Oh. Mm -hmm. That's actually very impressive. I know. I know. But don't worry. If anything, you you've uh, progressed quite a amount. If anything, uh, you're about as strong as I was when I was, hmm, ten. Oh! What? I'm, I'm, f I'm 15 right now. Are you saying that? Yes. Though you are not as capable as I am, you are still quite a formidable opponent. <laughs> Given the circumstances of your upbringing, not knowing that magic is a thing or anything, uh, yada yada yada, I could say with utmost certainty that you are, as a normal human, are quite impressive. Oh, yeah, thanks. Oh, do not be discouraged. It is still quite the compliment. I know. It's just that... Ugh. I'm on par with a child version of you. Yes. But don't get me wrong. I am an old one. What? I am one of the first... Beings to be brought into existence before heaven, hell, hell, the world being created. What? Oh, yes. I mean, the makers are old ones as well. Hence why they don't go to the will of souls, considering the existed before it was crafted. Wow. Wait, I have a question. What? Would it be possible to make a a weapon or armor using my magic? Yes. Wait, really? Of course. If anything depends on what attributes you wish to imbue it with, and if you have those said attributes. Thanks to your bond with, well, Shadow, you do have Shadow-based abilities now. Really? Oh, yes. If anything, I have been meaning to teach you a few. Really? Indeed. I see it being very useful in the future. Uh, but, well, like what? Well, think about it. If you can see through Shadow's eyes, thus strengthening the bond between the two of you, you could also... Hmm, uh, why are you looking at me like that? As Crowfather pushes Izuku into the shadows as he comes out the other end. Uh, did I just move along the shadows? Yes, yes you did. <gasps> so I can... Yes. If you do wish to make a quick exit, what did you say? Quick exit. No, that's not how you said it. Don't question me, boy. G good point. <clears throat> Either way, whatever you want, make a quick escape or exit. You can just hop into a shadow and move along freely. However, you will need a Excessive training when it comes to this because you never know when you're going to need a 
exit the shadows or where you're going to end up without practice. They know what they say. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. Practice makes perfect. Wait, how long are we going to... Hmm. Until you can go from here to home. How about that? Oh. Uh, and how is this... Is, is this going to hurt? Hmm. I would suggest that you don't stay in shelves too long lest you become one of them. So, wait, what? Let's begin training! As Izuku does slowly learn how to move along the shadows, now it's time for their heroes versus villains. And, uh, yeah, let's keep the whole roster the same. Bungo still wants to mm, put Izuku in his place. Especially with that display of power during the whole quirk apprehension test. One thing is, Izuku, like, yeah, I really just want to be a hero and, you know, do my hero thing. So, he has Oraka. Easy way or the hard way? Huh? Wait, 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 what was that supposed to mean? I can win this for us the easy way or the hard way? I'll let you decide. Oh, um, the easy way? And as soon as it's time to start, Izuku ducks into the shadows and grabs the bomb. And that is all she wrote. Oraka is like, what the hell? Izuku is pretty much pleased with how things turned out. Uh, it's just like he said. All I have to do is visualize where I want to go and... Yeah, it works. As for how he does this, Shadow already knows how to move along the shadows. Makes in with the fact that he can uh, literally see through Shadow's eyes. It's only a matter of being pinpointed to the right direction. Using Shadow as something like, like a waypoint from a video game. Yeah, easy peasy. He Baku is pissed. You know, congratulations, Zuku, but is also shot at the sheer, how did you do that? All Might is even more impressed, yet just as much suspicious of Izuku. Okay, so he was able to literally. Hmm. So I can move through shadows now. Sewer strength and whatever. That was already something, but. Being able to move along the shadows. Hmm. No, no, no. So I'm like right here. That those kind of quirks don't really add up. Not, not to me. From what I've done research on, his mom doesn't have a quirk that will allow him to do such things. And his father, sure, hell doesn't. If anything, seems like he should have a pyrokinesis quirk, if nothing else. Maybe telekinesis, or at least fire breathing like his dad. Hmm, but a quirk like this. Something is not right. Hmm. I'm gonna have to keep an even closer eye on this boy make sure he's uh, on the up and up as yes, Izuku is enjoying the praise of his undeniable victory 
Momo does scold him for not allowing Oraga to participate. But then he rebuttals with, I gave her the choice of where uh, she won to win the easy way or the hard way. So, she technically did end up, uh, you know, participating. Momo, she actually can't deny this. In which, though she is a press of Izuku's rebuttal, she's also a you little smart ass. But Hagakure can't help but feel jealous, but also infatuated with Izuku over his problem solving skills, as well as how he utilizes his quirks so elegantly. But it's at the end of the day when she finally decides to approach him, so to speak. Because Sogiyami isn't there, he already went home, so she sees this as an opportunity. Let's see if I can get him to walk home with me. Izuku wants to do this. The only thing is, uh, I don't know where you live. Oh, uh, um, uh, you know what? Uh, I could show you? Oh, oh, okay. Is Hogakure tries to get closer to him, at least, close enough to at least hold his hand. The only thing is, she gets too embarrassed and chickens out every single time. By the time they do end up going towards her residence, she tries her best to like, okay, uh, I can walk the rest of the way myself here. Izuku, being dense and a gentleman, is like, no, no. I didn't want to say yes to walking you home, so I am walking you home. Him holding out his arm for her got great to wrap her arm through. Her blushing. Izuku noticing the rise in her body temperature. Asking if she's okay and noticing you, you seem flustered. Her remembering, oh wait, that's right, he can see me, gets even more flustered by the time they do arrive at her residence. Her parents are there. <laughs> Them seeing their daughter with a boy. Well, well, technically <laughs> seeing her with a boy. They're already just thinking, did she already get a boyfriend? The dad, of course, is pretty much, how do you know my daughter? Mom is like, please take care of our daughter. Izuku being hella confused, but also being still a gentleman. I, was like, I know her from class, and he saved me too. Like, what? Yeah, she just relaying the whole story, but then again, she's get so embarrassed when she remembers certain details. And then her father realizes wait, this practical exam. When you came home, you were wearing anything but a sweatsuit. Wait a minute. You fully utilized your quirk, didn't you? Yes. So you were completely... Oh, wait. No one can see our daughter. <laughs> Oh, oh, never mind. I was getting worried for nothing. But then this is when I got crazy to sleep. I was like, oh yeah, you won't believe it. He can actually see me. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Izuku can actually see me. See you. Explain see you. Well, I didn't know he could see me per se until he noticed that my hair was nappy and whatever. That looked like I didn't brush it. And uh, then she realized what she just told her parents. You saw my daughter. 
You saw her completely naked. I, 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 I <clears throat> yes. How much did you see? How much did you see? I swear, sir, it was in the spur of the moment. What was it? What was it? I'm sure you got high for it, didn't you? No! I swear. No! No, 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 no. I swear. This whole, I thought she was wearing a skin suit. my gun. What? I am going to make sure this boy doesn't see anything else ever again. I did nothing wrong. Oh yes you did. You saw a female before her wedding day and you weren't even the groom. Damn, that's old-fashioned. It works! So, tell me, boy, how do you want to die? I'm probably going to pick, depending on your answer. Quick and painless? Long and painful it is. Forget the gun, give me the knife. I'm probably, probably butchering a little boy. Uh, listen, uh, are you seeing anyone? Huh? Just answer the question. Oh, um, no. So you don't have a girlfriend? Uh, no. Um, why? Would you consider dating and then marrying our lovely daughter? Huh? Answer the question! Uh, 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 <clears throat> yes, of course! But, really? A guck ray looking at all three of them? You really consider marrying me? Of course, why not? It's not just because my life is being threatened, of course. <laughs> not. <laughs> it's, I like you. <laughs> I like you too. So it was official. I don't have to kill my son-in-law. Great! We shall meet your parents tomorrow. What? Yes, on your school break. Okay. I. 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 Nothing, nothing, nothing's the matter. It's just, this is so sudden. And I, I was was not prepared. So, well, that's just tough titty. Yes, sir. Good. Good. Now, if you don't mind, you may leave. Izuku going home. Inko sees that he's seemingly exhausted. She asks him what happened. I'm getting married. What? Him having to explain everything. Inko, wait, wait. So you, you have to choose between living or death. Yes. Is it I end up marrying my classmate who I don't even know that well, mind you, and or death? Uh, oh, oh dear. I didn't know uh, that was a thing. It was so much different for, for me and your father. 
Yeah, I bet. Dad, what did you do that? What? I secured you. Uh, uh, I guess a passable spouse. Uh, I... What? Do you not like him? No, I do like him. I mean, he's the first pe person to actually be able to see me. Of course I like him. The only thing is, I didn't want him to have to choose between marry me or death. I wanted him to have an actual choice. I, I, I believe I did give him an actual choice. He chose wisely. He wanted to live. Mom? Uh, well, how about this? You won't get married until you both graduate, at least, so... Mm, you can at least wait and, you know, date around each other, see how it goes, see if you actually like one another. In which, if you don't like him, you can break up with him, or vice versa. <laughs> what? Oh, no, if he breaks up with her, it's a wrap. Uh, what? No daughter of mine is going to get dumped? Are you kidding me? Uh, hey, I know how boys are. They only want one thing, and once they get they... They are out. Ugh. Oh, really? Huh? What? So, are you saying when me and you were dating, all you wanted... Uh... Uh... No! No! no, no, no. I mean, of course there are some, some boys different, but... Uh, I mean, those like me who... Uh, get with a lovely, lovely girl because they love them. I'm just saying there are those kinds of boys out there who will just take advantage of a, a suspecting woman. Like, really? Interesting. Well, we talk about this more in the bedroom, shall we? You're excused for right now, dear. <laughs> no, you brought this upon yourself, Dad. And now you probably ruined a possibly good relationship that me and these two could have had if you had just kept your mouth shut. But I did it for you. <laughs> just save me. You made your bed. Now you have to lie in it. The next day, Izuku did want to train with Crow Father. The only thing is, I'm, uh, I'm so nervous. I never had a girlfriend before, let alone really talk to one. Uh, luckily, I do have some confidence in myself now, but still, still very scary. Calm down, son. I'm sure they're lovely people. Doorbell rings and go answers. Seeing that Gagare's dad is full of bruises and a black eye. Gagare pretty much... Hi. Izuku wanted to ask questions, but sees that Gagare sh shaking her head, don't ask. And then they go through the whole meeting of the parents. And Inko, still being herself, overprotective, very emotional, is like, oh my god, what have I done? What are you talking about, Dad? I. This poor woman. <laughs> she. She has. Such pureness. What? She is too pure for this world. And if she raised this boy, he can't be all bad. 
I'm sorry. Yes, now that I've seen who raised this boy, chances are he is not that bad at all. But I am curious to how he's become such a... Hmm. Interesting young man, despite just looking through faux albums. Huh. Seems like he really had a glow up. Can you explain that? It's strange. He just started training. And before we knew it, he unlocked his quirk. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And those cuts and bruises, those scars, how did he acquire those? I'm guessing by whoever's training him, and who might that be? Ugh. A very wise old man. Really? Hmm. Perhaps one day we'll meet him. Oh, yeah, perhaps one day. I really hope not, but still, yeah, maybe. Hmm. Well, I must say, this has been quite the informational get-together. Oh, I do say that we shall be on our way home. And, uh, welcome, Izuku Bedoria, to, uh, our family. Shame we couldn't uh, say hello to your father. Oh, don't worry, I told him about everything. Hmm, very good. And we are flashback to that, and his auntie is like, really? My boy finally got him. What? I'm so proud. I wish I could be there. Oh. Man, if I wasn't working right now, I'd give him a high five. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I, I hated leaving you guys like this, but still. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I was very worried on how he was gonna turn out without me there. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, dear, but you... You can tend to be very passive and emotional at times. I, I am wounded! Am I wrong? I, no. But it's not my fault. I know you're, he's our only son. He's our only child. You want to protect him to the best of your ability. So do I. The only thing is, do the work. I can't be there. And uh, this call right now uh, is pushing it uh, because I'm working. So you really had to be the mother and the father while I'm gone. And I know that can't be easy. Why being told by you you're doing one hell of a job? <sighs> if only I can find a way to. Hmm. Maybe. What? Don't worry about it. Just tell Izuku I'm proud of him. Flash forward. Yeah, he's very happy uh, to hear about the news. Uh, you didn't tell him that I threatened him, did you? Uh, what? Oh, no, no, no. Good, good. Uh, that would possibly put a damper on proceedings. Oh, no doubt. Oh, well, uh, well, uh, without 
any further ado, uh, farewell. Right. Uh, have a safe trip home. <laughs>